hello hello welcome to my page it's been an honor having you here on my youtube channel the one movie thank you very much please if you're new here consider subscribing thank you very much for doing so i really appreciate your subscription your likes and comment today is a lesson two on on our lesson one we learn how to go live on facebook and youtube the native way or the default way by using facebook and youtube plugins on today's video we are going to learn how to do this using um other softwares like obs streamlab obs vmix but on today's tutorial we are going to deal much with a new application from obs which is streamlabs obs that is it the reason why i'm using streamlabs obs over obs is because streamlabs obs it doesn't put much pressure on your computer so if you're using a low budget computer you can still use this application and get a very high quality video out there for your viewers to enjoy and uh, unlike obs which is um, cpu intensive it puts pressure on our computer so a powerful computer and uh, you're using the normal computer as mine you have to go in for streamlab obs streamlab obs got a lot of features templates and everything that you cannot get in obs so i'll always say stream streamlabs is the advance of obs so we are going to start everything so today what are we going to learn today one we are going to learn how to get this application downloaded on our desktop and we are going to learn how to add scenes sources and audios and how to add source like video images everything and some little features so without wasting much of your time let's move straight to our browser streamlabs.com and it will take you to this place their website for you to download and you have to bear in mind this application streaming application is designed for windows so you download this available version for windows then you click download and automatically you get it downloaded i have it already so i will just minimize this and come back to this place it's always recommended you pin it to your taskbar this is the first time you're going to open it we are going to start everything afresh so anytime you want to open and go live i will recommend you open it as an administrator right click then top here i'll right click again then you could see a pop-up says under open run as administrator then i will just hit on it good i'll get another pop-up on my other screen just click yes and push and move on to another step there you wait the application will open If you're new here please if you have not subscribed hit on the subscribe button and get subscribed to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that if i post any video you get we do a lot of videos like educational videos on how to play android phones but now here we are so you can you can just click on skip or you can also log in with any other account so what do we do let's just log in and move forward so i will click on login and we'll just open your browser so because i already opened this browser with this account login it will just bring it out and i'll just click on this gmail account just select the uh, gmail or the email you want to use then i'll click allow because for this is the first time you are logging in your youtube account to streamlab so streamlab will access your google account so i'll i will allow streamlab, streamlab access to my google account so allow so you get a notification in your gmail account google will tell you that this and this have access to some futures and some parts of google. good so welcome to streamlab obs are we going to import from obs or we are going to start everything afresh this is the video tutorial and we have to start everything from the scratch so i'll click start fresh yeah, good so it will allow you to test your mic and also your video your webcam so if you have a multiple webcams you can choose any of them then you try them yes you can choose any of them and you try them good i don't have any webcam so down here you can choose a mic uh, a mic that you want to use that is the audio source you can choose among this now i'm using logitech usb microphone and this is shooting uh, shooting perfectly well if you are satisfied with the way your mic and your camera is working you can proceed you can proceed and move forward so now let's move forward or you can skip other parts but let's move continue so here they are going to ask you to add some templates and teams and other sources to your streaming so that you get a starter like about to stream or stream end and a lot of them so you can install any of these teams and 
we are not going to do it and we can do it later so here we are going to skip this part and this is the prime version meaning that the pro version of streamlab and we can skip it because you're not going to buy anything they have some um special teams that they are selling so if you if you subscribe to their prime you get free access to those things but the future the inbuilt features like video resolution other types and other thing they are all for free so let's move skip good so now here you could see a blank interface now here we are going to learn what are we going to learn here one you could see this is where you are seeing corrections live click here title as so here is where you are going to add your titles and uh, every title must have a source and then you add a source so so what is it about now we got you can ask scenes let's say we want to add a video scenes so because we want to add a video scenes, we already have one scene here they always have one default scene and you can't delay that so what we need to do is to change these scenes rename it and make it let's say a video scene so we say video or oh, and you can add a scene let's let me leave it as simple as this good so now we have our video scene then the video scene has no source so if you're going live now we are, if you are live on youtube or facebook they are going to see a blank a black this thing because the video scene does not have any source so let's add another scene so let's say we are going to call this image so this is an image scene so now we have added two scenes first scene second scene and we can add as many as we want we can add as many as we want let's see let's call this test so let's maybe test so now we can add a test scene so we have three scenes and each of the scenes does not have any source so what are we going to do we are going to videos and under videos we are going to add a video as the name the piece so we are going to add a video so here we come to media source then we click on add a source then we can name the source then here it takes you to this place if you want the video to loop you can just activate or check this box says loop uh, so let's add a video so browse it would it will take me straight to my computer to add a video so i can choose any of these videos then i'll add this so this is the video i have so now the video has been added and i'll click bam so under videos we have a source so if you are right now live on facebook or youtube this these are the things they are going to see the moment you click image they are going to see a blank space and uh, so that is how to switch among scenes so here we are going to add a scene but before you add a scene you could see the video added it's not it's not fit into this portion and we want to fit the video make the video just fit into this screen and what you have to do is you have to come to the media source the what is the video about we can rename this we can rename so maybe the video is about live interview you can write here live interview so you can write live interview good then you click just for easy identification so the moment you see it you know what the video is about so i will just right click as you are then you come to transform then you come to stretch to screen so you can see the video has been stretched to full screen then that is how it is good so now if you are not lucky and you're live with in this mode if you are not in studio mode and you are in this single mode and you click on this and you shake your hands this is what they are going to see the video will be shaking left and right so to avoid this let me put this back to where it's supposed to be good no if you find difficult to just go back to transform fit to screen and then um, straight to screen and it will fit the screen so if you want to lock this video to this place just click this icon the lock icon then the video is locked so now the video is locked and if you if you click on it and you shake your hands it can't pull it can't push it to any place that is how it is so now we have a video scene added so video scene and the source added so come to images here under images we don't have any sources so let's come to sources and click on this plus icon so you click on this plus icon it take you to this same place where you can choose among what you want to add so you want to add an image so you click image and it will, it will tell you the type of images here so just come to add source then you click add source it would good so now here browse and uh, browse an image so good so now i can use any of these images and uh, 
just for the sake of this tutorial then you can see the image is not full to the screen and we can just come to the image and you can name the rename the image as we did by right clicking here then you click done to have it here we want it full screen so you have to right click again and you come to transform then the, you come to stretch to screen then you get it boom you just lock it good so we can then you come to test and if you add if you want to add a test so you can just come here then you go to test and uh, you come to test then you add your test so you we will learn how to add test and other styles later so let's add a test just for the sake of this video so i will name this um testing and i'll click enter um, i'll click add good so it will it will take you to this place and uh, here is where you will add your test so i'll add testing so we will learn much more about how to add test and uh, so this is the test that we just added so you can choose the color of the test this we have a, we have a white test you can choose the color of the test here good we will learn much more about all this and good so now we have the color of the test already selected so we can choose a background so let's make right now the background is transparent let's use a dark a black background and you can choose the opacity so let's say 100 percent opacity and uh, the size of the test is 36 and you can increase it to any like something like this to this so you see then you click done and the test will be added and you can position it anywhere you want and uh, so this is the test that we just added to our live streaming software now let's say we are live and you want to show another thing like an image you click on this and you want to show another thing like this you click on this because we've added uh, the sources of these scenes you can just move straight and go live but one most important thing about this that we are going to learn we are not supposed to learn it right now but uh, let me add it if you want to you can add as many sources to one scene let's say video scene i can add 10 sources more than that so i will just come to this place and say add plus button click on it click on this plus button good then let's say i want to add an image to the video scene and then i'll click add so it will just bring a pop-up of the previous image you just added and say do you want to add the same image if you don't want it just toggle this and it it will take you to your computer to add a new image but if you want to reuse this same image you just click on this then um you click add then you could see you've added an image so maybe if you want to add this image as a small logo you just right left click and then you pull this to this side on using your uh, soft touch or soft uh, your keza then you leave it here at this place and if, if you want it to be locked here you can lock it here and if you don't want it to show here at the top click on this eye icon then it's boom off or alternatively you can hide it behind the image by left click and hold and pull it down to this place now we could see that the it has been hidden under the image uh, under the video so the moment I click this you could see it here under the video so you can rearrange them so if you want something to be first it has to be first if you want it to be second or you want to hide it it depends on how you arrange it so here this this is the studio mode I was talking about now we are done with adding everything so now here we are in a studio mode and this is the awesome thing and I love I really love about this application it gives you an edit a preview side then you have a live this thing interface good these two interface and now i have already explained it to you what is this about i want to do some little adjustment about this video before it goes live or before i push it to this feed so what do i do um now because this video is locked you have to come here and unlock it then maybe i want to stretch this video to a certain portion a certain portion good so now let's say i want it to be like this now you could see the one here at the live segment is not being nothing has happened to it the moment i click transition it will take this to that place and you could see the video um, this thing has changed completely um so that is how it is so the moment i click image so this is the image i want to transition yes this is the preview so if you are satisfied with how it looks like then you push it live 
so that's how it is so you can test and i want to push this test maybe i i i, I wrote here ending thank you for watching and maybe that is the end of my video and i'll push it here with, with the transition we will end today's lesson which is lesson two here on our next lesson we are going to learn how to add so many things um unless i forget one thing um this is the microphone i'm using right now so if you add a video to it you could see the moment we come to the video side and we transition it into live mode you could see that the name of the, um the source which is live in live interview that's here that is it it means the video audio is being pushing off so the moment you see this is not pushing it means that your viewers are going to watch the video without audio and you can turn the audio off and on i can turn my mic off and on at any time we will learn much more about this application on our subsequent lessons thank you for watching now we learned a lot on our next video we will learn how to go live with these sources we just added we will learn how to push them to facebook or youtube and we will learn how to add a scrolling test and uh, overlays thank you for watching until next time i say peace be unto you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel our youtube channel the one movie the one movie thank you very much for subscribing god bless you peace be unto you bye bye